So we're continuing our discussion on the report feature pack and uh, let's look quickly at the uh, define bookmarks dialog which you can see is similar to the other dialogues that we've looked at so again you can see here's the report structure and then um, for each section in the report you can define an entry in the uh, bookmark section so every time a new invoice number prints the bookmarks will add a new bookmark and in this case it'll be the invoice number and uh, when you click on invoice number we're going to give focus to the invoice number object uh, in the invoice number band in the report and then every time a new detail record prints we're going to put um, the uh, result of this expression which is the description from the product table into the bookmark section and when we click on that bookmark the uh, focus will go to the uh, object called product ID in the detail section of the report. So uh, next we're going to take a look at how you can actually customize the table of contents and index layout. So if we uh, go here and we uh, print preview this report we'll see that the table of contents has a certain appearance. This is the default appearance that Alpha 5 uh, chooses for you. So let's go now and take a look at, at how we can customize this layout. So we'll exit the preview, go back to the builder, bring up the table of contents builder. And you can see here that um, the table of contents here is based on the default table of contents. So you can go now and create a custom table of contents layout. And you do that by creating a special type of report called the table of contents report. So let's go here and add a new table of contents report and I'm going to call it uh, my custom TOC layout and then I'll go ahead there and uh, click OK and then Alpha 5 brings up the report writer for my custom TOC layout and you can see it looks just like a regular Alpha 5 report excepting that of course it's using these uh, special fields um, that that, that were calculated for you by Alpha 5 when it created this default layout. So let's go ahead now and customize this layout. Let me just go make a few little changes. I'll change for example the text um, of the uh, heading over there to uh, blue and I'll make it uh, italics and um, now let's go ahead now and uh, save that and then close it down. So now we've got a uh, custom uh, TOC layout and we can see that now if I go to my uh, table of contents builder I'll see now that uh, the custom table of contents report for this report now is my custom TOC. So let's go ahead now and see how this looks when we do a print preview. Okay so uh, click on the preview button and you can see now here's our um, customized table of contents it's showing blue over here so of course in this case I've done just very minimal customization of the table of contents but you can obviously um, make the table of contents uh, look uh, uh, any way you want using all of the styling features of an Alpha 5 report so uh, I hope that you found this useful I think that the uh, new feature packs uh, add a lot to reporting and um, as I said earlier, uh, they apply to both users of desktop applications and also to users of uh, web applications because the PDFs that are generated from these uh, report definitions have the same uh, bookmarks, table of contents and index sections in them. And those sections are live just like they are in uh, the uh, preview over here. Thank you very much.